my memories of working at Saturday Night Live are all about being there to like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And there's this sort of special bond you have with other people when it's you're just there all the time. Perfect example. Uh, a buddy of mine, Rob Klein, he's a writer on the show. We left probably about 5 a.m. after a writing night. And we live on the same block, so we shared a car home. And uh, we got to his place, it's before mine on the block, and he was like, oh my gosh, I forgot my keys. And I was like, oh, well, he's like, ah, oh, I gotta go all the way back to work, all the way back to Midtown. I was like, well, you can just crash on my couch if you want, like, it's not a big deal. He's like, no, I don't wanna put you out. He's like, really, it's not a big deal if you want it, you can. He's like, all right, you know what, that's actually really nice, I'll, I'll take you up on that, thank you, I really appreciate it. And then right as we took a step off his steps, this giant gay black man just kind of appeared out from under his stairwell and walked up to us and looked at us both and just handed us a condom. <laughs> and he went, have fun. We were like, no, no, no. And we realized like nothing we said was gonna convince him we weren't about to have sex. Yeah. So we were just like, thank you, thank you. Safe sex angel of the West Village. <laughs> <laughs> a mythical, magical creature. Yeah. yeah. And we, we were like, man, that is such a funny story. And went back to my place and just went at it like a couple of little rabbits. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe to see even more great Conan clips. You may now return to your pirated movies and creepy Japanese pornography.